Hello, everyone, to a new episode of Algebra. Today we have two very special guests. Our friends uh, Tanner and Dominic are uh, joining us on the computer. Hi, Tanner and Dominic. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Good. Good. Did you Did you guys play in the snow? We got a few in inches of snow today. Oh yeah, we played in yeah. snow. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Okay, so we are going to talk about a problem that uh, we call the hockey pucks problem. Uh, let's uh, okay. let's introduce the problem, and uh, maybe uh, Dominic can read the problem for us. Dominic and Dan have a bunch of hockey pucks on their driveway. They lost eight, and their father bought twenty-five more. Then Tanner gave three pucks to each of four friends for their birthdays. After all this. The boys counted and they still had 18 pucks left. How many pucks did they start out with? Okay, very good. Thanks, Dom. Um, so, um, by the way, I drew you guys here. Do you like uh, my drawings of you? Is uh, I think you came out pretty good, you think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, um, you guys at home, uh, you guys and girls should try this out. So if you press pause right now, I think the, the screen should stop, the video should stop, and then you can just try it out on your own. Get a piece of paper, a pen, a pencil, a marker, and try this problem uh, for yourselves. Okay, so um, I already gave the problem to Dominic and Tanner earlier today, and they solved it, they found a solution, and uh, they sent it to me. And what we're gonna do is talk about like how they solve the problem themselves. Okay, so let's start with uh, Tanner's solution. So here's Tanner's solution, which is uh, pretty nice. Uh, so Tanner, do you wanna tell us how, how you solved it? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. In the problem, we lost eight, and then since we lost eight, um, our dad got 20, Five more for us. And then x minus 8 plus 25 is an unknown answer. So what I started out with was 25 minus 8 is 17. Which is this 17 right here. Okay. x plus 17, we still don't know. But we. So, so, so let, let me stop right there, uh, Tanner. So, so x is the number you started with, and 17 is what happened after. You lost eight and your father gave you 25. So you have eight plus 17 now on the driveway before anything else, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, go on, go on. And so we gave away 12 because three times four is 12. And then which the sum of 17 minus 12 is five. Five, very good. No, we ended with 18 pucks so 18 minus that 5 equals the 13 that i got aha uh -huh. so the solution is 13 yeah very good yeah i that was awesome very good very good so you you followed the steps in the in the statement of the problem one step by a step until you got to the solution which was 13 right there awesome yeah. very good very good i like it i like it Okay, let's see uh, what Dominic did, uh, which I I was assured by your mom that you did, you worked independently, Dom? Yes. Very and... good, very good. Okay, so let's see what you did. Uh, here is Dom's solution. Tell me. So D and T lost eight pucks and got 25 more. T gave three pucks to four friends. Uh, so what I did was 25, well, if you, Lose, lose 25, and I mean, lose 8, but then yep. get 25, it's basically 25 minus 8. Uh -huh. The difference of those is 17. Yep. And then the 3 times 4 is 12, right up, right up next to T gave 3 pucks to 4 friends. Yeah. So the difference, uh, that difference is 5. Uh-huh. X, the variable, yeah. we don't. That's the number you don't know. So, 8 plus what? I mean, 5 plus what is 18. Yeah. It did 18 minus 5, which ended up to be 13. Awesome. And then, when I tried to make sure that was correct, I did 13 minus 8, 
25 plus 25 was 30 minus 12 ended up to be 18. So that was correct. So Dom, uh, I think this is great. And not only that, I really, really like that you tried your solution. Once you found the solution x equals 13, then you went and said like, does that actually work? And you did it all over again uh, to, to check that you at the end, you got uh, 18 after all those uh, things happened to your pucks. I love it. I think it's uh, that, that's an awesome and that's a great habit to try out at the end one solution to make sense that, to make sure that it actually makes sense. That's amazing. Okay, very good. So uh, let me do it again, but now I'm gonna do it my way, which is actually very similar to what you guys did, okay? So um, I represent everything with uh, my equation. So uh, when whenever I read that Dominic and Tanner have a bunch of hockey pucks, immediately uh, a bell rings in my head and I think that must be the mystery number that must be my variable so i'm going to write x for the bunch of hockey pucks that are uh in the driveway then tanner lost eight tanner and uh and uh your father gave you 25 more so x minus eight because you lost eight and then you got 25 extra which gives you that right and then you gave three pucks to four friends so you are uh, subtracting three pucks four times. So that's three times four. And after all that, you got 18 pucks left. Okay, so let me let me show you that everything in the sentence in the sentences here match something in the equation. The bunch is here. We lost eight, so that's here. The 25 gives me this piece of information and giving three pucks to four friends give me this, and the 18 gives me that, okay? So what we do is we transform everything into a piece of the equation. And now I can just start uh, simplifying this equation so I reach an equation that is gonna tell me x equals uh, whatever the number is, okay? So uh, let me start by simplifying this piece right here. So how much is three times four? 12. That is 12. Okay, that is 12 that you, you also had in your equations. So this equation then I can simplify it as x minus 8 plus 25 minus 12 equals 18. And then you both started with uh, simplifying this piece here, uh, 8 or 25 minus 8. How much is 25 minus 8? 17. 17. So you both uh, simplified that, and then this equation just would read that x plus 17 minus 12 equals 18. Fantastic. So now uh, what you also did then is simplify this. How much was 17 minus 12? Five. Five. So then I get an equation that x plus 5 equals 18. All right. And now what we can do is what we've been learning in other videos is that I can add and subtract the same number from both sides of the equation. So to simplify this, do you, do you know what I should subtract to just get an equation that says x equals something? 18 minus five. 18 minus five. So if I take five away from both sides of the equation, I'm gonna take five away here and I'm gonna take five away on the other side so that the, the equation stays true. Uh, how much is five minus five? Zero. This is zero. zero. So I get on this side, I get just X. And on the other side, I get 18 minus five, which is how much? 13. And this is 13. So you see, we've simplified the equation until we get exactly the answer. That you both got okay and if you go yeah. back to what you did in your solutions you were basically doing exactly these steps um and all i've all we are doing with algebra is to put a little more structure and we always do things in the same order to find what the solution is but you were both doing this step and then this and then this and then this 
So you were doing algebra in your head, except that you didn't have the equation in front of you at all times. Does that make sense? Yeah, yes. Very good. All right. Well, thank you so much to both uh, uh, for being here. Um, I hope you have a very nice day. And uh, for everyone else, thank you for watching and watch uh, our other videos. And uh, if you have any questions or if you have problems that you would like us to solve on the screen, uh, you can send us an email to that uh, address on the screen. Okay, bye-bye. Thanks, uh, Tanner and Dominic. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.